We start tonight with a new bombshell today in the Swadley scandal. A grand jury indicted Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen's top three executives charged with defrauding the state of Oklahoma. News for Spencer Humphrey has been digging through that indictment for us. He's joining us now live. Spencer, what have you found out? Yeah, guys, well, that indictment claims those three men knowingly took advantage of their position as the sole operator of Oklahoma's state park restaurants, charging the state more money than they were actually owed, with state leaders all signing off on it. Now, legal experts say there are likely still more dominoes to fall. The seven-page indictment lays out how 12 jurors from across Oklahoma believe the founders of Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen defrauded the state. It claims founder Brent Swadley, COO Timothy Hooper, and former Vice President Curtis Brooklander knowingly overcharged the state for numerous expenses while they operated restaurants in Oklahoma state parks. In one case, it claims they charged the state 30 percent more than they should have for two meat smokers they bought. It also claims they got overpaid by a restaurant supplier and reported it as a rebate. It even claims the men refused to hand over invoices showing the actual costs when asked, each of them getting five charges of defrauding the state and one charge of conspiracy to commit fraud. But it looks like these people were added on, these contractors across the state parks, uh, with very little oversight and a giant pot of money that they could draw from almost at will. Former Assistant Oklahoma Attorney General Tim Gilpin says these kind of charges could come with some serious penalties. I doubt very much reading the indictment at this juncture that we're talking about a slap on the wrist. I mean, this has been going on for some time. He has one big takeaway. It's state money, it's taxpayer money. There are supposed to be all kinds of levels of check and recheck and auditing that apparently just didn't happen. From where I was sitting, my understanding was this went pretty deep. State Representative J.J. Humphrey sat on a committee tasked with investigating the Swadley situation. He doesn't think the indictment went far enough. I was really expecting some indictments from people in the tourism, actually state people who allowed this to happen or participated. And to that thought, Gilpin thinks there could be more dominoes to fall. An important part of all of this is the politics that are involved. Um, what politicians were engaged with these defendants, uh, to what extent. I suspect if the grand jury was doing their job, they'll have enough evidence that a prosecutor, the state attorney general, could pick it up and lead elsewhere. Now, it's important to note an indictment is not a conviction. It just means a grand jury thinks there's enough evidence to charge these men and send the case to trial. Now, in a statement, Brent Swanley's attorney told us we absolutely deny any wrongdoing. We are going to rely on 12 people to make the right decision. Swadley stepped up to the plate for Oklahoma when no one else in the state would.